Through These Doors is presented by Gate City Bank. What can be done today to create a better way of life? We can end hunger, homelessness, and violence. Acts of kindness, compassion, and teamwork bring us together and keep our community safe. Every day at Gate City Bank, we're building a better tomorrow and a better way of life. North Dakota was scheduled to take on Nebraska-Omaha last weekend to open the second half of NCHC play. However, COVID-19 had other plans. Yeah, I think it was a situation where, you know, uh, it was kind of one by one, our group was, wasn't feeling themselves a little bit. You know, and we had a couple of good practices on Monday and Tuesday. And, uh, and by Wednesday, after a few guys getting tested and, and getting a few positive cases, uh, you know, we had to look in our group and see if we had enough uh, bodies to to play a game and uh, we couldn't check those boxes to, to move on and, and you know what, not feeling bad. There's other teams in around the country and, and within our league that, that had to postpone games as well. It's just something we're going through as a group and what's going through the, uh, the area right now. Yeah, it's definitely disappointing um, to have things fall through for COVID reasons. Obviously everybody's sick of that and everybody's frustrated with that, but uh, you kind of do your best to just take it on the chin and uh, do your best to stay in shape and, and keep working. and. Um, get ready for the next one. Yeah, I mean, we live in a world now where it's, it's a lot of uncertainty and um, with everything that's going on, but, um, you know, saying that, I think for us, um, you know, it's just a matter of staying ready and, um, you know, knowing that there's going to be ups and downs and, you know, you might have an off weekend here and there. And... I mean, you know, we were looking forward to it and building up uh, to play in Noma there last week, and, but, you know, I think they did a great job and, you know, I'm really happy we got the games rescheduled. Um, found a weekend for those, so I'm really happy that we're not missing any games. You know, our guys are focused, and uh, I think they're open-minded, they're flexible, they're patient. Uh, so it's a situation where we're, we're going forward now. We have uh, 14 games in seven weeks with no off weekends now, and we're going to be going here, and our guys are excited about the future. With the unexpected break, players and coaches adjusted to make the most of their open weekend. Well, I think it's a chance to regroup and uh, you know get things in, work on some things. And you know when we when we didn't have the numbers available, we didn't take a day off. The guys that were healthy enough to practice, we got out there and we uh, you know enhanced their game individually and, and tried to work on some things in small group scenarios. And now now we got everybody together, and it gives us a situation of getting extra days under our belt to to get ready for this sprint. Yeah, no, not much. Honestly, we were just uh, bearing down on our school. We spent a lot of time here and. Um, you know, I know those guys were, were itching to come here and, you know, obviously, unfortunately, uh, they weren't able to. Personally, I was using YouTube. I was doing YouTube yoga stuff and, and core, whatever exercises uh, I could find and uh, some band work. But, uh, yeah, get creative and, and do your best to get a sweat in. No, no, don't, I don't even own a console, but yeah, all you hear in our household is... People screaming at each other from upstairs and downstairs. It's pretty hilarious, actually. Uh, no, I uh, I do not own uh, Xbox or PlayStation, but our house loves to play Catan, so we really get into some serious Catan games. You know, there might be a few uh, encounters where we get a little maybe aggressive with each other at the times, but uh, no, it's a lot of fun. We play a lot of Catan. Who usually win? I hate to say it, but Hainer. He uh, somehow pulls it out every time. You know, lingers in the last place and then jumps out of nowhere to win it. Actually, I was fortunate enough that the guys that weren't in quarantine uh, were bringing me meals. So, I, the cooking is gonna have to wait till the spring, I guess. <laughs> yeah, some people needed uh, some to-go boxes from the rink here, so, you know, definitely loaded up a few of those and walking out like a pizza man, carrying the boxes around, delivering them out to people. I think I'd usually package up four or five boxes every day. 
I would just run them home, drop them off, and head to my room. That was, that was kind of my route. So a lot of hanging out, a lot of catching up on our favorite TV shows, watch football over the weekend, uh, just kind of rest and relax and trying to get your mind away from hockey, take advantage of a break. Yeah, it was just kind of nice to be able to relax, just hang out at my house and uh, you know watch some uh, Yellowstone, big into that show. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was nice relaxing, kind of just let the body rebuild itself. But uh, looking forward to get going this weekend again. This weekend, UND travels to Kalamazoo to take on a big, heavy veteran squad in Western Michigan. Well, I think the experience of their group, you know, they, they were one of the teams that retained a lot of their uh, fourth year players, their seniors to come back a fifth year due to the COVID rule. And, and uh, you know, they're uh, having some success because of that. You know, they've gotten some good goaltending and their defense is playing very well too. So, you know, having depth in their group is something that uh, they have this year and obviously we do too. Yeah, I mean, they're super talented. They're, they're an older team, experienced. Uh, they returned a lot of guys, you know, they play hard, they play, they play really fast. So you got to be ready and that building is super hostile and, and if you, you start slow, they'll jump on you quick and you know, they'll have a couple goals before that first TV timeout. So you got to come in ready to fight and it'll be a good weekend. It's huge. Um, obviously our, our conference, the parity in it is pretty unbelievable. So, um, you know, you, you go to war every night um, and you know, it, it's going to be a war in Western. Obviously, it, you know, NCHC points are huge, so, you know, we're looking up. Uh, for the challenge, and we're really excited to get uh, get to Western. It gets loud. Their fans are they have a good fan base, and you know they they pack that place pretty good every single night. And um, you know it just kind of feels like they're on top of you, and it's it's a fun atmosphere to play. And you know those are those are the fun games when the um, fans are into it. And you know you go come into a rink, and your goal is to you know kind of silence them. And it's just it's fun to fun to go to rinks like that. My first ever college game was actually I lost them way back in. 2018, 2017. So they're infamous, uh, whoever's wearing number four chant. My first game, I thought they were saying Ford. So I thought I was getting it for no reason because it was my first game. I was like, what did I do to deserve this? But I quickly learned that it was number four. I heard it's a fun place to play for them. It's, I heard it's a pretty, pretty tough place to play for us. Um, you know, I think that was my brother's least favorite rink to go into. Um, I think it has its name for a reason, but you know, I think we're looking forward to it. It'll be a, it'll be a cool place to, for us to play in. Um, pretty fun environment, I think. Oh, it's critical. It, it, it's a big deal, and you know, uh, you know, they'll be rested and they'll be, you know, amped up, ready to play because they haven't played in a while. But there again, they haven't played, you know, against competition. I'm sure they're doing kind of simulated scrimmages and different things like that to try to get, you know, those reps in as far as game-like situations. But at the end of the day, it, it isn't a game, and I think we have to try to take advantage of that right away. Uh, first period on Friday night in Western. Like I said, I'm really excited to uh, go out and play against uh, our NCHC team with this, obviously last weekend kind of being canceled and having that disappointment, you know, it brings a lot more excitement to this weekend just to be able to get back at it and super excited to go, uh, go on the road again with the guys and play Western.